What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for Lines.com, PlayPicks.com. Let's talk a little bit about golf betting in general. We have these awesome articles that we put up over here over on the Lines and Play Picks. And, hell, these are really awesome cheat sheets into how to really analyze these tournaments and which plays are the best. But that being said, like, what if you don't know anything about golf betting in the first place? So let's take a look at golf betting in the first place. We'll use DraftKings menu for example, but the obvious one and the one most people play here is just winner, outright winner. And what you're getting here is the guy has to win the tournament. So the only way you get paid if you bet these is if the guy wins the outright. These are also called outright bets. You'll hear people refer to them as outright bets. The guy has to win the tournament. Only one guy wins a tournament, you know, tees up 120, 130, 140, 150 golfers. Only one guy wins. This is what you're getting whenever you bet on the winner. Some of these other placement markets are some of the best bets that you can make as far as like trying to keep up a golf bankroll, a top five finish, a top 10 finish. If you look at DraftKings, they offer top 20 finishes and they offer even top 40 finishes. Now, you'll notice the better golfers, once you get into these kind of top 20 and top 40 markets, sure, the odds are where you got to start laying juice. But what you can do here is find some of the guys that you like a little bit lower down the board you don't think maybe they're going to quite get there to win the thing, but you can bet them in these top 20 and top 40 markets, and you can still get some plus money on these guys, and they don't have to win the thing. They can just finish in the top 20 or even top 40. If you get a little bit lower down the board, you can still just lay even just a little bit of juice on some pretty quality golfers and then even get some plus money on some guys that have been playing pretty well as well. So those are some really great ways that you can bet golf. Some of the other ways that you're going to be betting golf that are outside of just the placement markets are called matchups. And right here, it's exactly what it sounds like. Now, remember, there are tournament matchups and there are also first round matchups. So just be sure you know what you're betting whenever you're betting these. But matchups is just what it sounds. It is Jason Day versus Troy Merritt. It is Sung JM versus Matt Fitzpatrick, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down the list here. And basically what it comes down to is if you're if you are betting John Rahm over Roy McElroy, you are betting minus 150. So you're laying 150 to win 100 or you're betting Roy McElroy, you're betting $100 to win $125 on top of your bet of whoever finishes higher out of these two guys. Doesn't matter where they finish on the board. If John Rahm finishes 63rd and Rory finishes 65th, you get paid on your bet on John Rahm. It is literally just a bet head-to-head between these two guys. It'll say matchup bets. It'll also be called uh, head-to-head. You'll hear people talk about those. Tournament groups, same deal here. You are just betting on who finishes the highest out of these guys that are listed in these particular groups. Pretty self-explanatory, and then the same thing would be with the three balls that you see. Burns, Horschel, Power, whoever finishes the highest out of those three guys is whoever wins the bet that you make on that. Another way you can easily bet golf is just to make or miss the cut. Now, you're going to be, to, to make the cut, on these guys that you're, you know, household names, you can see it is just a, a ton of juice that you're going to be laying on these guys. A lot of people play the to miss the cut. And so you can get some plus money on some of these guys that are bigger name guys. If you think that there's any reason that they might not be making the cut in this particular tournament, maybe the course doesn't fit them, maybe they're in re- ba- really bad form, whatever it might be. I don't really ever play to make the cut ones. I do play to miss the cut bets every now and then. There's golfer prop bets. And now look, these are kind of where you start to get into the, let's just call it more luck bets. You know, I mean, look, to make a hole in one, no way for you to accurately predict that. Bogey free round. I mean, look, you can say Rom, Macro, all these guys that are awesome. But I mean, look, even the best of the best make at least a bogey per round to make an eagle, a wire to wire finisher, things like that. I mean, these are all just bets. Again, it's we're glad that they made them available but not really bets that we try to get into too incredibly often. Tournament props are also some of these bets that, again, I don't look to very often. Will there be an albatross, a wire-to-wire winner, winner in the final pairing? There's different ways that you can kind of bet. You know, there's all kinds of ways that you can bet these tournaments. Three chances to win. So basically you're playing three, you get paid three to one if Rom McElroy or Hovland win. So three super short shots you can bet on all of those. I don't really recommend a ton of these. Like, again, we get back to this hole in one, will there be hole in ones, winning margins, all these. You're really just kind of guessing 
on these. But some of the ones where you can and do uh, bet pretty often, and these are these nationality markets. So you can sit here and bet, you know, a, a USA winner of the tournament or a non-US winner of the tournament. Really, you can get into some of these, you know, top English finisher, top Great Britain and Ireland, top Canadian finisher. And this is the same thing as if we were doing a three ball or a grouping bet. It's just it's just separated by country. So these all, all four of these guys, these are all Canadians. Corey Connors, Nick Taylor, Taylor Pendrith, and, and Adam Svensson. Now you're just picking which one of these Canadians is going to finish highest on the leaderboard when the tournament is all said and done. And you can do it with every single one of these countries. There's even a rest of world if you want to go that. So there's all kinds of ways that you can get into it when it comes to that as well. And, and these nationality ones sometimes are actually, you can find some pretty good value when you get to some of these Asian players. Uh, when sometimes, I mean, listen, it's, it's a lot of times it's going to be between Sunjay and Hideki. So, I mean, you're able to get really, you know, some plus money on picking between which one, one of those two guys you think is going to finish the best. So be sure and take a look at those whenever you're finishing out your kind of market as well. But again, really and truly guys, it's, it's a lot of the most common bets are just the winner, but I really can't stress enough playing some of these placement markets as well to keep your golf bankroll in check because if you just play outrights, only one guy wins the tournament, right? It's just one guy. So you're really trying to extend your bankroll here and not get, uh, not stretch yourself too thin. So, you know, playing, I understand it's not the sexiest thing in the world, but playing Hideki Matsuyama to finish in a top 20 or play, you know, paying or, or playing, you know, a guy like, you know, a, a, a Luke List or a Cameron Tringali, guys that don't win a ton, but, you know, to finish in the top 40, you're only laying minus 125. Things like that can help you keep a healthy golf bankroll along the way as well. Finally, there is that end-around leader. You know, if you want to bet a first-round leader, it's it's more fun than anything else. It gives you some instant gratification throughout the course of, in, in the tournament because after round one, you know, whether you won or not, you know, if your guy's leading, um, it's just more of a fun bet to make as well. They'll do into second round, into third round, stuff like that. So these all will update as the tournament progresses as well. So be sure and check in in tournament as well to get down on any of these markets as well. Guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button right here on the lines. Everything we do, absolutely free. So be sure and uh, take in all of that. And uh, if you, there's anything you'd like us to cover, any other kind of how-tos, any other questions you might have, be sure to leave them down there in the comment section. Good luck on all your golf bets.